I love you, God. You're so funny. You're a bird in the sky, flying high, singing. You're an apple. You're a tree. You're a cloud. You're even me. I love you, God. You're so funny. Sarah, what does the word God evoke in you in terms of feelings and thoughts? Um, I think of, I, I'm, I go to Quaker meetings and I think of the phrase that Quakers should look for that of God in everyone. Right. And what that makes me feel. I think about the peace in a Quaker meeting room. I also think about going to Catholic church when I was a kid because I was brought up Catholic in my right. Catholic schools. Um, does that also... I mean, how much time and attention and energy do you give on noticing the God inside yourself? God inside myself? Um, not a great deal. Um, I think one tends to spend more time noticing the, the ways in which you're not like God. Really? <laughs> yes, the ways in which you're angry or selfish or um, unfair do you think or that's mean. A good, do you think that's a good way of thinking? Do you think it's healthy to think like that? No, I think some people ought to pay more attention to the selfishness that they have inside them. There seems to be an awful lot of people. It seems like the good people spend too much time paying attention to the bad things inside them, and the bad right. people spend not enough time. Right. What about you? Oh, well, I don't think it's fine whether I was a good <laughs> or a bad person. You're not willing to do that. You're not willing to... Do you think there is such a thing? As a good person? Or a bad person? Isn't there just... I think there are people who pay attention... Are they just people? There are people who, what do you think God, or... What do you think God would say as she looked down upon any person who you have labelled good or bad? I didn't say I went around labelling people as good or bad. No, you just label... There is a concept in your mind of good and bad people. It's okay, don't worry. It's very normal. <laughs> I'm just asking you whether you think God shares that concept. I would imagine that if there is a God who can look down on all of us, she, he, it is so far beyond our imagining that our right. words are not useful. Right. Great. Thank you so much. Let's go. Majestic, um, omnipotent, powerful. Right. And what does it make you... F is, that, is that how you feel when you hear the word? I do. You feel omnipotent, powerful. Wow. Well, uh, Wow. I feel like someone like that is watching over me, which is very comforting. Right. So you feel comforting that yes. this God who is omnipotent and powerful um, is looking over you. Great. Yes. That's great. For me, um, one is, for me, one of the most important things. Uh, and I think that uh, there are many, many approaches. I am religious and I am. I believe that uh, somehow it, it shouldn't look outside, but keep inside, and and that makes the unity in the human being. What What do you mean by keep inside? What do you uh, mean by? Because you shouldn't look uh, after God outside or above the clouds, but look for uh, God inside in, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So you believe God resides inside you. Yes. Yeah. Great. What What, what is it? bring up for you? Feelings, what does it feel like when you hear the word God? Warmness, love, guidance. I think the most important is probably love. Love. God is teaching us to love. Right. Lovely, thank you. What does the word God evoke in you? Um, what feelings and thoughts? Feelings personally, and thoughts. I believe there is a being, but I am an atheist myself. Now you're, you've really confused me. <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? I believe that there is someone with powers, but I don't have. I don't. 
believe in a person in called God per se. Right, but isn't that just uh, okay? What, what, what? When the word God is uttered, yeah. What do you feel? Does that make you feel? Do you, do you notice anything? Because some people, especially sort of, uh, sort of the more dogmatic atheists, might feel kind of angry or. I don't feel angry. Or I, negative I, in some way, or. I don't have any form of emotion when I hear right, the word. Right, that's interesting. Okay, great. Thank you very much.